be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey for tonight's main event. 15 rounds of heavyweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. He's alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread, but he makes that walk down so very alert. Norton's making his way to the ring right now, and he does so with an attitude that belies his in-ring intensity. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Teddy, in terms of a power punch, we know the taller fighter is going to try to utilize the jab, but in terms of a power punch what can he get that shorter fighter with the uppercut boy oh boy that can be like putting a cherry on top of an ice cream sundae because you know the shorter guy's leaning he's coming in he doesn't see that punch so it's too late Blocked by Norton. Sullivan's really go. in position to control things in this fight. If he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good solid jab. And a punishing hook by Bone Crusher. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Very nice work with the double jab up top. Halfway through this round, he missed with that headshot. Get in there! Sullivan! Right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. And now just wasting everybody's time Let holding it go. on. <laughs> Last 10 seconds of this first round. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect.
end of round one. Norton's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside and you're lost, you need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. We got it. I need to box him. Wait for him to move. Oh, we need his water up there, that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. Here we go. Round two is underway. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Sullivan. Blocks the headshot. Bone crushers tagged. Smooth work by then. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Halfway through round number two. Bone Crusher's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Good body shot. The right hand came home. A head shot blocked. He's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Good way to protect the midsection. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Well placed counter punch by Norton. A little head hunting with the right. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Bone Crusher. Norton's commitment to the cause of being the aggressor really had him in front in that last round. Look at his opponent. I want to see that double jab. Double jab right, okay? Fine, but listen to me. We gotta do a little more. We have to pull ahead of this round, okay? I need more than one punch from you now. More than one. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. When, when he throws a jab. I got more. And round number three is underway. Able to land the hook to the head. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Sullivan's left working well then. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Oh, <laughs> 
Ouch. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. Fires right back at him. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Able to dismiss that body shot. Bone Crusher showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Last 10 seconds of round number three. What impact from that uppercut by Bone Crusher. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Keep your hands up, right? Yourself. Still win this one. Interesting early rounds of this fight. Sullivan's up two rounds to one on your scorecard, Teddy. What do you like about him so far? Well, I like the fact that he's busier, but I also like the fact that when he's not working, he gets out of range and he doesn't allow his opponent to win. That's why I got him winning. Headshot lands was a hook. Norton's effort has been admirable, but I don't think he's getting the results he would like to get here. He's tiring himself. Yeah, what I think is starting to happen here, Joe, we saw him throwing a lot of punches, but not real effective punches. I'm wondering now, he's ahead right now in this part of the fight, but I'm wondering if he's... Sullivan! Stunned by a big shot. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, surviving. Sullivan's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learns how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Halfway through round number four. <laughs> Off the target by Norton. Keep doing what you're doing. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go.
little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Solid right by Norton. Don't let him get to you, kid. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. End of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search, kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself, places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard. He looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test them, when you push them up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. just surviving but if he survives then he better figure out why he was put on the floor Halfway into round number five here. A well-targeted right hand by Bone Crusher. Norton stunned, and yet another big shot comes in. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. Gunned down yet another opponent, a knockout victory. Teddy, there's a lot of explaining to do here, but help me with this. Was this early knockout out of left field a product of one guy being prepared and the other guy just not ready for it? No, obviously he wasn't ready, wasn't prepared in the gym, but I think he came out cold from the locker room, never knew what hit him. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.